This is what I did for the freedom of this country. I don't give a shit about your feelings, and I never will. Oh, madness, 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 every single day. Hello, folks, this is the Robozoid with yet another video, and, well, this one has to do with some trans-testicled freak who, in my opinion, no, not my opinion, in my fact, belongs in the Ringling Brothers sideshow, trying to give this decorated 78-year-old Vietnam War veteran uh, who owns a Star Wars shop, of all places, in uh, Aberdeen, Washington. Well, I'm going to show you a little more of the video and what went down. Not to mention uh, the old man's response and also the response of the trans testicle. And I'm not leaving it for you to decide whose side to be on here. If you support the trans testicle, you're a nut job. I'd support the decorated war veteran. Well, here's the bulk of the article, really. Yeah, and I'm not going to read you the top, because I already did when I showed you the sign. An elderly business owner, <clears throat> an elderly business owner in Aberdeen, Washington, was confronted by a trans, by a trans, by a trans constant, what the hell? <clears throat> a trans council woman named, well, I don't really care what her name was, over a sign that she found offensive. She and, and, and an Antifa group have announced the direct action outside of, of the shop, <clears throat> outside of the shop on the 7th of August at 10 a.m., yeah, she. You keep saying she like she like that's a real woman. That's a guy! And a freak as well. I wish P.T. Barnum were still alive, because he's absolutely right. There really is a sucker born every minute. Basically, what this was all about was this trans testicle was looking for free publicity. Well, this creature triumph found it and basically summoned its minions and Nazi fa to try to get it. Uh, yeah, of course now I worry about the 78-year-old war veteran's uh, safety and also his shop. I mean, we're talking about millions of thousands of dollars worth of damage and mat priceless material now if these Nazi thugs actually destroy his shop. You are not you're not a woman. You don't look like a woman. You don't act like a woman. Aberdeen Councilwoman Tiesa Meskis confronted owner Don Sucker about a sign he posted in his store saying, if you are born with a slang for a... If you are born with a dick, you are not a chick. That's what it actually says. A male body part, you are not a chick. That sign was still visible today. And everybody's loved it. Everybody's taken pictures of it. Everybody laughs. Everybody not everybody loved it. it. Well, yeah. And some people think it's hurtful. Well, it's this well, that is to say everybody who matters loves it. But here's the thing, I don't give a about feelings anymore. What he wrote there was so demeaning and so dismissive of who I am and who any trans... Wah, 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 like I'm supposed to care. Big fucking deal, who cares? Take the mask off, you freak. The scamdemic is over. You're an idiot. And I don't care if it was hurtful. Don't make me call Ringling Brothers, you freak. This woman is. I'm 70 and eight. I went to Vietnam to fight for all this. Do you think I care about some feelings? By the way, I absolutely dig his Empire Strikes Back t-shirt. Absolutely not. What really happened here was this masked trans, trans person, whatever it is, tried to ruin this guy's life. So this whole thing was clearly a setup. It's in the wrong, the war veteran's in the right. You can clearly see it for yourself. Does this do your stupid future AIDS-ravaged community any good at all? No, it doesn't. You don't do your community any good. You're a traitor to your community, and they ought to just throw you out and say, you know what? You're not a chick. You got a dick. So you make us sick. Get out. That's all it is. And seriously, folks, if you're going to act that way in a store full of merchandise for children, yeah, you really should be frozen in carbonite. You deserve it. It's a cute sign, but I'm not so sure I'd actually advertise it out front for a store that's, well, catered to families that have children. That's just my opinion. But hey, 
Children do need to learn the biological truth. Boys got him. Girls don't. Here's some of the Twitter feed from it that basically he was a kind-hearted man, a decorated war veteran who ran a Star Wars shop in uh, Aberdeen, in, in Aberdeen, which is you know, nearby Seattle, Washington. And of course, basically, you had this trans-testicle freak looking for publicity. So it figured that by basically getting up in this war veteran's face, that yeah, it was gonna get its pound of flesh. And I say it because Oh, screw it. I say he's going to try to get his pound of flesh because he's just looking for publicity. You're a man. You you have a penis. That's the way it is. Playing dress up don't make you no chick. Basically, what the it says here is, the owner of the shop is a kind-hearted pillar of our community. Recently, a man dressed in drag went into his shop. Yada, yada, yada. I apologize for the small print, but, you know, you know what happened here, of course. This creature was looking for free publicity and found it, basically by getting all up in his face. So yeah, you know who started the incident here. Cancel culture, your time is over. It just disappoints me that nobody in the media is portraying this for what it truly is. An unwanted attack on an elderly man who's just running a business, that's all. Just basically under attack by some trans-testicle freak who, quite frankly, belongs in Barnum and Bailey's Ringling Brothers sideshow, whatever, Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey circus. And, uh, yeah, quite frankly, total freak job. Looks for and tried to get free publicity, got it, faced a major backlash from thinking people, because in the end, common sense will kill cancel culture. And really, who was this trans-testicled freak to actually splash its goat urine and toxified peanut butter on a kindly elderly shopkeep's business? Yeah, who the hell are you? You're just a freak, okay? You're a freak. Keep your goat urine and toxified peanut butter to yourself. There are plenty of pussy bars you can do your swan dive in. So this has been the Robozoid basically saying, yeah, this guy was totally in the right, the trans-testicled freak, absolutely in the wrong. Don't make me call Ringling Brothers on this freak. Oh boy, if only P.T. Barnum were still alive, Sideshow would be its future. Hmm, yeah. Stick a fork in that freak. It's done.